In this video, we will cover how to use this recently launched GPT 4O mini model in Llama Index. So, OpenAI is calling this particular model as their most efficient and small model. So, this is being compared with the GPT 3.5 Turbo, which were their most efficient model in the smaller category. Let's look at this particular model. As we know, OpenAI has earlier launched GPT 4O model, and now this is going to be the mini version of GPT 4O model. And you can see this is also coming with the multimodal capability. So, it can have text and images as an input, and we are going to have a text as output. Same what we are going to get in GPT 4O. The context length is also going to be same. So here we do have 128K. In mini model also we are going to have 120K context length. So this comes in the smaller model category. The prices per 1 million token is going to be 0.15 for input and 0.60 for output. And here in this GPT 4O we do have input as of $5 per 1 million token and $15 for output token. So in certain use cases where we need high intelligence for complex and multi step task we still have to go with gpt 4o but now because we do have this mini version available so we can utilize this gpt 4o mini for fast and lightweight tasks if we actually have to compare this model then we have to compare it with gpt 3.5 turbo if you compare it with the gpt 3.5 turbo then you can see the differences and here you can see they have already notified as of july 2024 gpt 4o mini should be in use in, in place of gpt 3.5 turbo as it is cheaper more capable multimodal and just as fast as gpt 3.5 turbo so we can still use gpt 3.5 turbo but the recommendation is to switch to gpt 4o mini because it is going to provide the enhanced capability where we can deal with the multimodal scenarios also and this is going to be as fast as gpt 3.5 turbo now if we have to compare with gpt 3.5 turbo then you can see the context window over here was 16k tokens only whereas in gpt 4 o mini we are getting the context window of 128k token and the next thing like if you have to compare the pricing then you can just compare the pricing as well here you can see the gpt 4o is having so for the input task for 1 million input token it is going to cost us 0.15 so this is going to be 15 cents and this is going to be 60 cents whereas if you compare with the gpt 3.5 turbo it was going to be 50 cents for 1 million input token and then we have 1.5 dollar per 1 million output tokens so gpt 4o mini is definitely better than GPT 3.5 Turbo on all the aspects. So let's go ahead and see like how we can use it in our code. So before using this GPT 4O mini model, first thing what we have to do is update your package. So you can just fire this command. First thing what we have to do is run this command, pip install, then upgrade, then llama index then llms then open ai and you have to run this this will make sure this new release model is added in your llms open ai and then actually you can go ahead and use this model otherwise your existing package won't be able to recognize this particular model now the next thing what we have to do is we have to pass this model name and we can pass this model name like this while initializing our llm here you can see like i have imported this openai package from llms.openai and then i'm passing this particular model over here so this will set my llm and will point it to gpt 4o mini so as of now the default model what llama index support is gpt 3.5 turbo and considering now we do have replacement of gpt 3.5 turbo so going onwards this mini model is going to replace gpt 3.5 turbo and in that case you may not need to even pass this model you can just initiate like this and default model is going to be gpt4 mini but for now we have to specifically call this model over here so this is how actually we can just call it and initialize our llm and after that in this particular use case what i am doing we do have certain files over here i do have a story of jungle book which i have split it into five parts so these five parts represent the story of that jungle book so we are just going to co loop over this file and we'll try to ask some questions so first thing we just have to pass this particular directory name over here in the simple directory reader and it's going to take all these files and we'll just load the data and it will create a document object on top of that i am just creating an index on vector store index and passing this document and then i am just creating index on top of it and asking my query and to utilize the simple directory reader vector store index and setting i have imported it from llama index.core package first let's try to ask some question if i just comment it out it's going to run with the default model which is going to be gpt 3.5 turbo so let's run with that and see what output we get and then we can run it with gpt 
GPT-4 or Mini and we can just see what out output we are going to get. Here, I'm just asking one question, who has recognized Mowgli as her lost son? And the information is there in the lost village. And here the lady name is mentioned, who has recognized Mowgli as her lost son. So let me just run this code and you can see I have got the lady name over here. So I have got it correctly, but it's just printing the lady name. Let me just go ahead and uncomment this particular line so that uh, this GPT-4 O mini mod will now come into picture. Let me try to run this code once more. And in this case, we have got the lady name correctly, but it is also coming with the certain text over here. It's just saying has recognized Mowgli as a lost son. So that's how actually you can integrate uh, this particular model with your Llama index and try to use it in your use case. That's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.